right, welcome back to the channel. So just a quick tip for some other people that might be doing in this on Cadillac CTS, not a normal video, but when I went to actually search uh, YouTube and Google for how to do the transmission mount on a rear wheel drive CTS, this is gonna be a, what was this, Ed, 09? 09. 09, so I think your ballpark is gonna be like eight to 12 or somewhere in there. Um, there's like nothing on the internet on how to do the transmission mount on this uh, vehicle. So if you're working on one of these, you probably feel pretty aggravated when you see how this rear transmission mount is put in the vehicle. But what you're gonna have to, to do pretty much is to get this thing out. This is what it looks like out of the vehicle. And then I'll take you underneath there and show it. What happens is these mounts just completely split in half. So you can get these things for pretty cheap off of uh, eBay. So we ordered them off eBay and we're about to replace them. But you have to take this whole thing out because often uh, this piece right here just ends up spinning when you try to bust this uh, this nut off of this stud. This piece will just end up spinning. So it's like it's going to be easier to take your whole uh, cross member out if you are in this situation um, and then change these things uh, off the vehicle. But to get this thing out, let me take you under the vehicle and I'll show you what you have so to do. So whenever you take these actually apart, also the issue that we had on the front mounts was even if you can get this apart, even if your pieces are not torn, is these bolts are actually seized in there. So just from all the grime and I guess the reaction of, you know, the cast aluminum against the steel stud has them literally just seized solid in there. So you're going to be in a tight spot trying to get all this stuff out and you're really going to get irritated fast. So taking this whole cross member out is going to be the best way because now we're going to have to take a sledgehammer pretty much and beat these things out um, to get them out to, to change these parts. The new ones, this is what your new piece looks like that's all it is it's just this little guy right here and they literally just rip or tear in half over time um you know and it's, it's it looks like it's a simple task but it actually turns into a big nightmare so we've got this undone your cross member bolts right here to these two two bolts and then it bolts up to your transmission right up there where them two holes are a lot of people will sit here and say or do they'll go ahead and want to undo them bolts from the flanges. The problem with ours is ours have rust all over them. Uh, if you try to undo them bolts, they're probably gonna A, break on you or strip out. And then if this stud snaps, you now have to drill the stud out and put a through bolt through it. So being we do this as flip cars, we try to do this as fast and efficient as possible. And we try not to gamble on bolts like that. And you probably don't wanna gamble on nothing like that either. So if your bolts look like they are rusted like ours, like ours do, then you probably want to just skip messing with them bolts all together. If yours look good, then you could probably unbolt them right there, sag the exhaust down, and then be able to slip this mount out. Um, but if they, if they don't look good, then you just need to come right here in your straights, where your straight area is, and we always stagger our cuts, that way it's a little easier to work with sometimes, um, and cut, uh, cut your exhaust pipe, as you can see, that allows the exhaust system enough to hang down. And then what you'll do is you'll take your mount that was sitting right here and you'll literally slide it back right there. And then as you can see, then it'll fall out and come right out because you're not gonna get it out if you don't unhook this exhaust somehow. And it's just, the problem is them rusty bolts and just from age on a lot of these cars as them things break. And so the easiest is just gonna be to get some couplings and put them on there. And I'll show you how this looks when it's all put back together. All right, so here's what it looks like whenever you have all that put back together. Now the other, one over there we're not done with we still have to put the clamp on that but that's just your normal uh, Vance Auto Parts U-bolt uh, clamps with uh, pipe you know connectors there is the connector we used and it's as simple as that now we did use a ratchet strap uh, to pull the exhaust system back forward uh, to get them together and to get them to slide on there but that's going to be the easiest way to uh, do this if you have any questions uh, let me know the clamps that you're going to need are uh, two and an eighth heavy duty exhaust clamps. So there is the part number for them. You can get them at your local parts store. And your exhaust connector is just going to be a two and an eighth uh, inner diameter. So you're going to need two of them. 